Well, here I am in Singapore, and uh, it's one o'clock, and uh, in 12 hours I leave and get to Amsterdam. So, at the moment, I'm just going over to a bus stop, I'm trying to find a bus to uh, down into where there's some shops, and try and find uh, some food which is cheaper than in the hotel here. Uh, so there's the bus stop. Uh, apparently it's the number 29 bus I have to uh, aim for, so let's walk on over there. It's very breezy today, a lot of leaves coming off the trees, but a very pleasant spot, lots of trees, lots, lots of nice good big trees around here. So, uh, here I am at uh, the bus stop on Netheraven Road, and uh, I think the bus is very frequent, it just goes around in a loop here, so uh, I shouldn't have to wait more than a few minutes. Well, there's the 29 bus, so if there's only one of them, I've got to wait until that comes back. Singapore is surprisingly... Um, Nice. It's though it's a big city and all the modern buildings and skyscrapers. There's lots of greenery around here. You can see once you get outside. It probably sounds a little noisy here because I'm getting close to the sea and there's quite a strong breeze. Uh, certainly a nice area. Well, this is Changi Beach. Uh, it's just a few minutes walk from the Changi village, the place where I had something to eat. Uh, it's mostly Muslim come uh, Indian types down here. Not seeing many Chinese and uh, not many white folks. Seen it, come across a few Europeans, but. Uh, Very windy, as you can see, and probably what a job uh, this poor woman has, just raking up the seaweed and other 
debris from the beach. It's just getting permanently washed uh, in here. Now there's a pretty ugly sight to see. And now I'm making my way back to the hotel and uh, just spotted the Changi Golf Club and judging by the quality of the vehicles parked outside it's probably very very expensive to play here but I think the only time you could play is really early in the morning uh, due to the tremendous heat This city is just so unbelievably civilized. Probably most civilized in the world. Um, the terrific behavior um, by the inhabitants of this country. Everything's under control here. Uh, cars don't speed. <laughs> Quiet. I appreciate it's a Sunday, but uh, nonetheless, I think uh, from what I saw last time, that many of these uh, out of the city roads are generally quite quiet. Beautiful walk through here. Just greenery and trees all over as you can see. You know, I've been in this urban area yet I feel like I'm inside a, a forest. Uh, you can hear the cicadas or, or whatever similar to what there are in Portugal just buzzing away making this constant noise. I think it's the attention to detail that they've given here. This is on a, a footpath which runs quite a length of this road and it's made out of timber. And the bolts they've used to screw it all together. All stainless steel, all good quality. Even the concrete pavements have expansion strips uh, laid at about two to three meter intervals. Can't imagine anybody doing that anywhere else. Almost all of the buildings uh, around here on the side of the road and behind me are government buildings or government owned buildings uh, that are let out for different uh, purposes. I uh, don't know what I imagine. So <coughs> there's a sailing club here, that's a Changi sailing club. And I can just imagine years ago when the British were here uh, what a life they had. And at the end of the day sat sipping their pims and being served up by some poor devil. Uh, here in, uh, in Changi they use these speed reducing strips which the majority of people uh, tend to slow down for. Uh, certainly is preventing a lot of, or does prevent speeding. I haven't seen one car exceeding whatever their speed limit is here. And in England, uh, the local council told me that we couldn't put that on a road, uh, say in Holbrook Lane, because um, apparently there wasn't a, a roundabout uh, within a certain uh, distance of the road. Quite ridiculous, really. They can do it here, we could do it. Well, after a really good walk, uh, which is probably the longest walk I've had in uh, the last two months or since I came over to Singapore and then on to the Philippines 
Uh, I've seen some nice sights around here, and now I'm outside the the hotel. So I think it's time to go in and uh, take a rest before I leave here tonight. I can stretch the check out here until 7 p.m. and that's it maximum. Otherwise, I will be charged another full day. So. Time for rest and then get ready for the long journey.